There's a ton of injuries uh, right now in WWE. Uh, Cedric Alexander has been dealing with a minor injury. He should be back soon. We talked about Xavier Woods, his Achilles heel, um, his Achilles tear. So he's not going to be back till next year. He's definitely missing WrestleMania. Uh, Alexa Bliss is currently out with a shoulder injury and is supposed to be reevaluated in the next few weeks. Um, Sami Zayn has been so part of the reason he was put with Shinsuke Nakamura was because he has been uh, working with a, a shoulder injury with his shoulders, and he's his had shoulders surgery. were bad before. His shoulders were bad when I was there. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, so they kind of moved in the managerial role, but he still he can wrestle, and uh, he. he but they're currently not having him wrestle. Uh, and Alistair Black has been dealing with a, a knee injury. Uh, he's currently out of action. It's not shown. It's not known when he'll return, but it's said that the injury is not serious. It's more of a tweak. Again, it's just that schedule and it, it's the human body. And, and again, this is coming that the style that everybody's wrestling, where selling is not is. Not as prevalent as it used to be. It, it's a problem because in it's you got people in two doing those dives all the time. People don't understand like that stuff destroys your body when you do that five nights a week or four nights a week. It's let alone just every week. It's something. It's this is one of those things you look at the old school wrestlers and how that style was. And look at the in the rate of, of how everyone is when they're older. They're all beat up and destroyed. Like, what do you think this generation's group of guys is going to look like when they're in their 40s and 50s if they make it that far? Like, it's it's because the, the style has tra- changed drastically of what people are because of just doing spots and moves to get pops throughout randomly. Whereas before, it would be ground and pound or actually show intensity and in work. I like. I don't can't even tell you how often do you see a fucking hip toss or body slam anymore? Just a regular suplex. I'm like, what is going on? It's 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 just it's a different it's a different thing. And I it's, and I feel bad for the guys because I've been there and you're hurting all the time. And like Sammy, Sammy's a guy, man. I genuinely, like, when Sammy came back and was doing that stuff before he made the AEW comments, I loved what he was doing. And, and again, and what he needed was booking to back up his talking. And they didn't back it up, and then they just they kind of jobbed him out time and time again or beat him quickly in different situations. And then before you know it, he's, that steam is gone, and he's just managing, and it's great. But Sammy is one of the be- best talkers they have. And like he, I can see when he's doing his heel stuff, tapping into real frustration, and like that, that to me. And even if he's reading lines, he's able to still be tap into emotion, which is a testament to how good he is, and whatnot. But you know, once your body starts getting hurt like that up there, you just don't have the time. And even if you do get better, you're thrown right back in, and you're back into that four or five days a week, or going on a two week tour. It just destroys your body. And this is what I was talking about. Like, and then the wrestlers, once you're done with there. You're the one that deals with all your injuries, and they'll give you all the drugs you need and everything to keep you going week to week so you keep making whatever money you're making, and then those problems become yours, you know, that you sacrifice for that company. It, it, it's, it's a really screwed up thing. Yeah. Uh, well, I, I think that about covers it for this week. Uh, thanks, as always, Ryback, for having me on. It's, it's always a lot of fun. Likewise. Anything going to plug, uh, Raj, to wrap up? Yeah, keep checking out WrestlingInc.com. We, uh, this week has been uh, really crazy. We have tons of interviews with Rikishi, uh, uh, the Million Dollar Man, Ted DiBiase, um, ODB, uh, another one with ODB who just returned to Impact. Um, nice. And uh, I can't even keep track of it. There's just so many. So uh, check it out. Keep checking out WrestlingInc.com. Good deal. Is ODB still doing the Indiegogo also for the food truck? Yes, yeah. So you can still donate for the food truck, okay. and then Impact is holding their tapings, and their the proceeds are going to help uh, with the food truck as oh, well. Oh, that's tremendous! I'm glad to hear that. Good yeah. deal. Well, Raj, thank you as always. And guys, we will be right back after these messages. Hey guys, it's the big guy Ryback, back, and I just want to say thank you very much for watching. Go ahead and punch that like, smash that subscribe button, and check out my all natural su- my all natural supplement line. Supplement. Supplement. Stupid. My all natural supplement line. Feed me more nutrition available on Amazon and feedmemore.com. And as always, conversation with the big guy Ryback available on all podcast platforms, iTunes, Google Play, SoundCloud, and wherever podcasts are available. Never forget. Feed me more. 
you for tuning in to this segment of Ryback's Conversation with the Big Guy. Watch full episodes here on YouTube. Subscribe if you're new. Smash that like button if you had a great time watching. And for all supplements, check out FeedMeMore.com.